Selecting a kitten for an anniversary present may not be as easy as one might expect. I knew the time was right, as my wife kept having me visit pet stores to see the various felines in store windows. The local animal shelter had a clinical feeling to it. Two glum-faced clerks sat behind a long counter with numerous doors behind them. On the opposite wall were windows displaying caged animals out of reach to visitors. Next to the display was a long, eerie corridor. The fluorescent lights hummed, flickering now and then. Yips and howls could be heard behind doors lined with security glass, accessed only by a magnetic keycard. The scene was reminiscent of the prison scene in Terminator 2, and I fully expected to see a mad scientist of a German POW camp approach at any moment. Before my imagination got the best of me, a family of four, clearly escaped from the nearest trailer park, brushed past me to see the dogs. Where are the pit bulls at? asked the unshaven, toothless father of two. My wife and I timidly approached the counter. We'd like to see your cats, I inquired politely. One of the clerks raised her head slightly, with one evil eye glaring made a quick flick of her head to motion to the furthest set of displays. I did a quick double-take. Was she holding a voodoo doll, wearing a black eye patch, and breathing smoke as if possessed by some gypsy? Once again, I was brought back to reality as my wife grabbed my hand, happy as could be, to pick out her tenth wedding anniversary present. The cats lined up in their cages like suspects in a police lineup ready for inspection. We had already selected our cat by its profile on the animal shelter's website, but we gave our effort justice and decided to see all the cats. We watched for a long time as an employee went cage to cage picking up cats. We wanted to see four or five cats, but we were told no because we would probably spread diseases between them. It was obvious these people did not care to help us find a good match. After seeing a few cats, we decided to get the kitten we saw on the internet. The clerk at the desk huffed as she slapped a pile of paper on the counter, telling us these would have to be completed first. As we finished the last form, Old Evil Eye stepped in to take the papers and our credit card. As we released the papers, the mad scientist in a long white coat held up her hand and made a snip-snip-snip motion in the air with her fingers. We have a few more things to do to it, they laughed. Ha, 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 ha. Old Evil Eye warned us the animal shelter Gestapo reserved the right to make random visits to inspect the quality of care to our new pet. We were informed that if we did not meet their expectations, our kitten could be taken by force if necessary. We finally were able to pick up our cat a week later. We decided his name would be Benjamin Franklin due to his exact cost of $100. I also have a book on my desk by Benjamin Franklin called Fart Proudly, as Frankie is clearly the most gaseous kitty we have ever known. Frankie's introduction to the house was chaotic at first. We have another cat, two dogs, and my wife's parents live with us during the summer. On their first meeting, the animals did the sniff-your-butt dance that animals do when they first greet each other. Frankie seemed to pass the test. Frankie soon let it be known that what was yours was his, and what was his was his too. During the middle of the night, Frankie steals my wife's jewelry. Sometimes we are just too tired to stop him. Frankie's fascinated by the bathroom sink faucet. My wife had to chase him down the hallway more than once as he steals the sink stopper. Eventually, it ended up missing, too. Weeks later, we found his stash in the back corner of my side of the closet. The dogs are bothered by Frankie eating their food and drinking their water. Once Frankie was at the dog's dish and Sadie, the wiener dog, nipped at him. To our surprise... Zoe, our cat of 14 years, attacked Sadie and saved Frankie's life. When Gracie, our very large beagle, comes in from outside, 
Frankie takes over her cage. He lies on his back with four paws in the air waiting to strike the massive pooch. Zoe is the one who does not get a moment's peace from Frankie. Wherever Zoe goes, Frankie pounces. If Zoe plays with the toy, Frankie takes it away from him. If Zoe sits in the sun, Frankie pounces on him until he leaves. Frankie then takes his spot in the sun. After a year, our new family has settled in. Frankie, comfortable in his dominance, has gained so much weight he can't jump into the nearest window. As a result of Frankie's weight problem, we have a much more subdued Frankie. All our animals get along now. We frequently see all three of them sitting on the back of a couch, looking out of a giant picture window. Gracie can be heard safely yowling outside. My wife gently lets me know that for our anniversary, diamonds are nice too and take up less room.